People are a victim of their culture. Yeah. Everyone are raised within their culture. Yes. And so when you present your ideas, it's hard for people to yeah. comprehend. Yes, it is. Unless they spend time or they read. Yeah. Or they go to the library and read a book like The New American History, which tells us how we took the land from the Indians. You know, real history books don't cover that too much, you know. It always shows us great doing great things. But they didn't tell you, in the history of England, the early English people, the people in the high place, used to hunt black people as animals. Did you know that? They shot them aborigines. They thought they were creatures. You know, they, they used to, and uh, there's nothing like that in the history books. All the stupidity and things we did that didn't work and uh, the fact that we gave people radar at Pearl Harbor and they didn't know how, that they didn't use it properly, and the Japanese planes came over. So all the money we spend on defense and security. Uh, I think I mentioned yesterday that uh, they check your baggage, your luggage, to make sure you have no guns on airplanes, but there are other ways. I, like I said, I can design a sports jacket that when ignited, which is a built-in ignition system, the buttons ignite, give off poison gas and kill everybody on the plane. And it's not just guns. That's not the only way. And when other countries didn't like us, they just hijacked airplanes and flew into the building. We didn't allow for that. Damn it, they got mad. And there was no airplanes that shot them down. Where's your defense system? So I feel whatever you can think of as a defense system, there are other people that have minds too, and they can think around that. Do you understand? Yeah. The only real defense is bridging the difference between nations, bringing them together. So maybe in the future there'll be a Pentagon in Washington of sociologists, social scientists, people that study different cultures and how to bring them together, but not defense systems who only bring up weapon systems you don't solve problems with weapons, because if you bomb cities, they won't forget that you killed their grandfather or their father or their sons, and you're building hatred for the future. War does not solve problems. There, years ago, there were Henry Ford, by the way, didn't believe in war. I don't know what he knows, but he had a peace ship developed. And he brought all the peaceful professors, put them on a ship to send them to Germany to try to talk peace. Well, what happened, the newspapers kept writing that the peace people were fighting with each other on the ship. This isn't true. And they killed the project.